Welcome to the Grunfoss CM Booster Self-Priming Video Installation Guide. Today we'll show you the simple steps required to install the Grunfoss CM Booster Self-Priming Pump to a domestic rainwater tank. Before you begin the installation, ensure you have read the installation and operation guidelines that came with the pump. You should also check any local regulations that may apply before installing your pump. Next, ensure you have the right tools for the job. Some thread sealing tape, also known as plumber's or Teflon tape, a plumber's wrench, hex key, and depending on existing fittings, you may need a shifter. Next, ensure there is an isolation valve fitted to the water source outlet. It is also a good idea to fit one to the discharge of the pump. This will help you if you ever need to service your pump in the future. Grunfoss recommends a covered installation for the CM Booster self-priming pump to protect it from the harsh Australian weather conditions. Select a site near to an outdoor weather-rated power point and make sure there is a firm, flat surface on which to mount the pump, like a concrete pad or pump cover base. For added security, the pump can be secured to the base, however, in most installations, this is not necessary. Grunfoss recommends using flexible pipework from the water source to the pump and from the pump to the house or application wherever possible. And wherever practical, install the pump as close as possible to the water source. Pre-checks complete, you're now ready to install the pump. Step 1. Install the pipework. Apply sealing tape to the thread of the inlet connection. This goes on in the same direction as you would screw on a fitting. Then, connect the flexible pipework from the water source to the pump and tighten. Apply sealing tape and connect the outlet pipework to the pump and tighten. Step 2. Priming the pump. If the pump is attached to a water source which is above the level of the pump, simply open the isolation valve on the water source to fill the pump with water. If the pump is attached to a water source which is below the level of the pump, invert the pump so it is standing on its end with the priming inlet at the top and open the priming plug. Pour in clean water until water begins to exit the priming plug. Replace the priming cap and tighten. Step 3. Start up. Open the isolation valves from the water source to the pump and from the pump to the house or application. Next, plug the pump into the power outlet and switch it on. Finally, turn on the furthest and highest connected tap to bleed the air out of the pipework. Now, you can set up your pressure manager to suit your circumstances. Remove the front cover of the PM2 and adjust the DIN switch panel for the following features. Firstly, adjust the starting pressure to the desired comfort level for your household. Secondly, you can turn on the anti-cycling feature. This will stop the pump if it continually starts and stops due to a minor leak or slightly open tap. Finally, you can turn on the maximum continuous runtime feature. This will stop the pump if it runs continuously for more than 30 minutes, which may be the case if a tap has been left open or a pipe has ruptured. For more information about these and other settings, refer to your quick start guide. Replace the front cover of your PM2 and you're ready to enjoy your Grunfoss CM Booster self-priming pump for many years to come.